Apollo Crews makes his debut on Raw against Tyler Breeze. And Shane McMahon brought him up from NXT that night for his debut on Raw. Hmm. Wasn't really expecting him to make his debut this quick, but it looks like there's going to be a lot of great changes going on in Raw. Especially the Raw after WrestleMania. It's definitely shaping up to be that way. This is actually not a unicorn horn. Uh, this is actually my hair, but in order to not make it a distraction, I'm just wearing it. But anyway, what's up guys? Nature Curl 30 here, and as you can see, my voice is starting to come back, and I am actually back from my Dallas trip to WrestleMania 32, and I had the opportunity to actually see Raw on television live, and honestly guys, it was one of the best, seriously. Like I said before in my review, I like being wrong. I don't have any problem being wrong. And I was semi-wrong about WrestleMania 32. Well, actually, I was wrong. It wasn't a total disaster. And neither was this Raw. This Raw brought a lot to the table. There is some things that don't make sense, though. It's a shame that Shane had to go through all that in order for him to actually get what we wanted him to get in the first place. But other than that, he's in charge. I'm happy that he's in charge. There's a lot of debuts tonight. We finally saw Enzo and Cass after months of anticipation of them showing up. And it, looked like, it looks like it's going to be a possible feud between Enzo and Cass and the Dudleys. So honestly, I'm straight with that. I'm happy about that. I'm excited about that. Even more excited, the main event. Now, we haven't really got a decent main event in a very long time. And But before I get into all that... Let's get into some of the things that have happened throughout the night. Now, with the New Day versus the League of Legends, I didn't necessarily care. But it was actually, you can kind of expect this to happen. We knew that Wade Barrett was going to be leaving soon. And unfortunately, he got a send-off of a lifetime. He actually got beaten up by his own people. And I kind of wish he had a better send-off than that. But hey, that just shows that, you know, that's going to be his last time on Raw. He's going to be done after this. And that's it. You know, he got a proper send-off. Then we're going to possibly have a feud between the Wyatts and the League of Nations. And I'm hoping that that's going to happen because that would be very interesting. But not as interesting as what happened towards the middle of the night. Now, we had one of the biggest upsets that I have ever seen in my entire life since Christian. When Christian won the World Heavyweight Championship and then got a ticket from him 24 hours later. Unfortunately, Zack Ryder did suffer that same fate. He actually did win the IC title in a momentous ladder match at WrestleMania 32, but unfortunately he ended up losing it to The Miz via Maurice. And we actually did see Maurice, and I didn't think we would ever see her again, but we actually had an opportunity to see her again, and, well, she caused Zack Ryder the championship, and it took 24 hours to get it, and now it's gone again. That's a shame. And, I mean, this guy has been waiting so long to have a decent push and a decent title reign to where we thought he was going to have one, but then he didn't. That's kind of messed up. Only for The Miz. The Miz doesn't really need it. I mean, he mainlined WrestleMania. He's been, he's a grand slammer. He doesn't necessarily need to have this title. Zack Ryder does. And I think that was a bad call on their part. And it's just heartbreaking. I'm hoping that somehow that maybe down the line he'll have a bigger payoff. But right now, I don't really know. I don't know how this is going to go, and it's really sad to see that. But we actually did have the official um, the official ceremony for the Women's Championship. There's no more Divas, guys. They're superstars now. They are not Divas. They're actually superstars. So they can no longer call the Women Divas. They call them superstars, which makes me very happy. And they actually did showcase the Women's title and actually did a proper ceremony. Now, looking at the way that Charlotte came out, she seemed like she was really humble about getting that title as well as with, you know, the, the whole ceremony and pomp and circumstance. The crowd was a bit, they, they acted like a bunch of jerks at first, but honestly, they brought out their inner jerk. So did Charlotte. Charlotte ended up bringing out her inner heel. I kind of wish that there was a little bit of humility there before she could win heel, but I think it's about to start a feud between the hearts and the flares a feud that's been going on for decades so it would be nice to actually see charlotte versus uh natalia in a in a pay-per-view feud well i mean in a, in a, in a pay-per-view and actually see them put the title on the line i wouldn't mind having natalia take the title from her at least for a while but honestly 
I don't mind that. They've had momentous matches. They had ex extreme matches. I mean, the match with Charlotte and Natalia put Charlotte on the map. So it actually is starting to look good. And guys, throughout this entire Raw, there wasn't a moment to where it was just ridiculously stupid. Well, okay, well, maybe there was a few, especially, you know, some things that didn't necessarily make sense. But honestly, it wasn't as bad as we thought it would be. It really wasn't. And I was surprised to see no Stephanie. You know, of course, we're not going to see Triple H, but I was surprised not to see Stephanie there. But other than that, it was great. The crowd was amazing. They were just lit after uh, WrestleMania 32 last night. And honestly, guys, I mean, it, it, it's, it's amazing. But before I get into the main event, I'm going to give a huge shout out to Connor, a.k.a. OK Fabe, and Matt from In The Rope Show. Their signs have been shown at least 10 times. So for those that didn't really notice, go back and watch the footage. You should, you'll probably see OK Fabe and ITRS they, in every angle. At least 10, 12 times we saw them all night. So go back and watch the footage. And sh big shout outs to Matt and Connor for actually having a great night. Especially Connor. This is the second time he's on television. I mean, he was actually in a reaction shot for WrestleMania 32 for the ladder match. So go back and watch that. But other than that, guys, let's talk about the main event. The main event was the main event. And we didn't really expect Sami Zayn to be kicked out of it, but it was even better. We ended up seeing Cesaro for like, he's been gone for months. And we ended up seeing Cesaro in a main event match that felt like it was a main event. This was a number one contendership for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. It felt like that. Seeing Chris Jericho in there, seeing Cesaro in there, seeing uh, AJ Styles in there as, I mean, honestly, and as well as Kevin Owens. The biggest, the two individuals that a lot of people want to see win was AJ Styles and Cesaro. I expected Cesaro to win, but since he didn't win, I still don't feel bad it was, it was AJ Styles. AJ Styles, he is going to be a phenomenal competitor against Roman Reigns, and I think he's going to literally bring up Roman Reigns' A game. And speaking of Roman Reigns, I have never heard a man more booed in my life than that man has been. Last night... It was like a sea of booze, and even tonight, a sea of booze, except for a few cheers from a bunch of kids. But either or, the man's not right, which means that for this match between AJ Styles, he has to bring his A-game, and people are going to expect AJ Styles to take the title from him, and maybe they'll give him a reason to be more aggressive, and maybe they'll be able to write him better. Now that Shane's taking over, maybe he'll do a little bit better with this push. I don't know. But other than that, it just seems like everything is going in the right direction. And even though Shane's there temporarily, this is going in a great direction. This was a great Raw. I enjoyed every bit of it. It was the same of what happened to Zack Ryder. And I think it was a bad call on that part. But it doesn't necessarily affect the overall feel of Raw, the Raw after WrestleMania. It felt momentous. It felt like it had purpose. It felt like there was going to be change. And that's what we wanted. After every WrestleMania, there's always change. And that is what they did. And honestly, guys, in my opinion, I'm satisfied by this. I really am. Even though it was a shame to actually see Zack Ryder take, lose his title, I'm still looking forward to what's going to happen later on down the line. But guys, I want to hear your thoughts about this Raw. Do you, how do you feel about this Raw? Were you there? Did you experience it? Other than that, were you able to actually... Well, how do you feel about it overall? Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm curious to hear what you guys thought about this Raw. Because other than that, I am satisfied. And I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in next week. As well as possibly on SmackDown. But guys, that is it for me. I'm out of here. And that's Casino Royale in the background. Just letting you know. But anyway, guys, peace out. I'll see y'all later.